Hello and welcome back to more Phoenix for Ace Attorney Justice for All. We're on episode, we had our first trial for Turner Rob Big Top and it was less than stellar. So, now we're going to be doing the second part of the trial and hoping that we get slightly better results. So sweetie, you have to believe me, I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly. He told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Which means... It means the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility. <laughs> well done, Nick. However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double. Hmm. Wow, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I was never quite sure what I wanted to be when I grew up. Magician or president? You have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just, keep, mystery just keeps getting deeper. Okay, December 29th, 12, 6 p.m. District Court Quarter number 2. Now that everyone is back, let's get started. The court is now back in session. Ms. Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well. I will now call my next witness. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Will Mr. Lawrence Curls please take the stand? Why did she just call him a pitiful clown? Oh, great. Here we go. The witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. Wait. Wait a second. Did... Okay, I didn't see the full part of that. But from what I briefly just... I wish I had flashback recording on. But I think what he just said there is in West Clown Adalphia, born and raised. Did he just make a Fresh Prince of Bel Air reference? I think he just made a Fresh Prince of Bel Air reference. Name and occupation. Well, the witness, please inform the court while he is speaking in autobiographical gibberish. Oh, I'm sorry! I'm just not used to being in court! I've never been in a courtroom in my life! Oh! I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited to this sort of occasion! What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall you're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. Since it's easy to see your occupation, please say your name for the court. Oh yeah! Maybe this joke is okay! Oh! Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no sir, no shoes, no service! Oh! Oh, what a funny joke you just told! Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, how about this? Have you met my proctologist? Dr. Oh, 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 Funny joke! But a couple of clowns who were up to no good. Your name? Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown! You witnessed the scene around 10 15 p.m. the day of the murder. Correct? Yes, yes it is! Very well, Mr. Curls. Will you please testify to what you saw that evening? Oh, Rabbi, I pre- Without the humor, please. Okay! Aw, poor Mo can't be in his normal studio self in court. Oh, what a tragedy that is. What you witnessed, okay. I know, I know! I'm not the greatest comedian in the world! I, I, I don't care. I haven't been able to make people laugh for ten years! No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stir and polite applause! Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken a loving them myself. I can just get to the point. I'm a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. I mentioned my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless, but I keep trying. I even tried to come up with a joke just for today. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try and make everyone laugh. Seriously, to get to the point already. What do you think of me? How am I doing? What? Well, that's it? That's the whole thing? What? I did that, that, that tell me nothing. That was even more useless than Polly's testimony in the first game. And Polly's testimony was one line. One line. And it was hello. And somehow, this is an even more useless testimony. How, how did you pull that one off? Um, are we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness. Huh? We need to listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. Thus, please stick to the facts of the case. Really? You really help me out? 
Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you, thank you, I can't wait! Pork gumshoe. Now that that's settled, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we can! I'll talk for as long as you want! Ho ho! I, that was just pointless. Okay, great. Alright. The night of the murder, after practice was over, I went straight back to my room! You have no idea how tired I was that night. I was pooped! I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window! That's when I saw two silhouettes! They were a bit far away, though! It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak! I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clunked the ringmaster right over the head! Okay... That's very interesting. If this eyewitness is account is to believe, I have enough to pass judgment right now. Of course you can. There is no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit... How do you say? Off kilter. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. Oh, that must be because of my insincere smile! Mr. Wright, please begin the defense's cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, you gotta find some kind of contradiction in this testimony. I know that. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, I'm afraid that if you push the witness too far, it would bring disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to engage in pointless saber-rattling. I understand, Your Honor. If you cause this clone to stray from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? Not the one with the corny jokes. Okay, so we have to keep him... We have to prevent him from, um, from telling jokes. None of the murder after practice was over, I went straight back to my room. Okay. Are you sure about that? You'd say that the practice wrapped up around 10pm, correct? See, that's the thing! Huh? How exactly am I supposed to make a joke about 10pm? Now, 8 o'clock? That's something a clone can rip off of! Let's just pretend it was 8 o'clock! No! Let's not do that! Let's not make it 8pm, alright, Mo? What do you mean, let's not? Don't take the clown out of the clowning round! You're here to provide facts of the case! You are not here to make with the funnies! Come on, Nick, just listen to his joke! No! There are three reasons why I don't want to. One, I probably won't laugh. Two, I'll get hit with a penalty. Three, I'll get whipped. Well, why don't you just proceed with his factual testimony? You are so boring! I, I would rather not to get- You have no idea how tired I was tonight! I was pooped! Okay, so you were tired. But if you were tired... Um... Th does, does it not stand to, to reason that you may not have been able to process things clearly? Let's, let's hear more about that. You were pooped that night? Yes! I was very, very tired! As I mentioned, I had some bad Mexican food! What? Double cheese, double bun, and shot, double bean and gelato is a dangerous menu item! What happened after that? As they say, happens! Oh ho 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 That one was cool, huh? I hear these kids really love toilet humor these days! Oh ho 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 ho! That joke was so hip, I don't really want to ruin it with a reply. I've got a good reply, though. Hey, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? That's such... That's such BS! This is actually pissing me off. Okay, I I press that statement because I want to know precisely how tired he was. Because if he was tired to the point where he may not be able to process things that are happening around him. Because here's the thing, right? Super late at night, like for instance, um, at prom earlier this year. After prom, I don't want to open the court record. After, after prom, it was a really fun night. I had a lot of fun. But I got home, and you want to know what I wanted to do? I wanted to go to sleep. So, I'll, t I'll tell you one thing. If outside my house, I saw a bear, um, and I looked out, and I saw said bear, and then this bear was next to a frog or something, I don't think, and then you asked me that the next morning, I probably would not have been able to tell you exactly what I saw happen outside the window, because I would have been so dead tired that I was just, I just wanted to go to sleep. So if he is in that cat, also, I, no, I, please don't ask why I thought of a bear and a frog. I don't know why I, those are the things that came to my mind. But the point here is that if he was that tired, he may not have been able to understand what was happening all that well. But then he makes a joke, which is not my fault, and the shirt is, like, penalized. I, I just, I, I can't, I can't even. Okay. Are you gonna keep giving me penalties? Because we're almost at the halfway mark of that little meter at the top of the screen. Please don't give me another one. You just happen to glance out, to glance out of the window? You could say that! You could also say I peeped, stared, glimpsed, peeped, I'm old! Mr. Carls! Oh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. What, what should I do? I wonder if I should press him further on the issue. Keep pressing. Exactly why did you look out of your window that night? Why, why? Girls don't need to recently look at their windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke... When we spoke yesterday. Once I tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. I sounded like a giant thump. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. You forgot. 
Your Honor, this witness looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right! I forgot to mention that thumb, didn't I? Oh! That's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Moda were to revise his testimony. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Curls, please revise your testimony. They should start turning the tables in our favor. Here, here, okay, you heard a huge noise. And that's when you take a look outside. Tell me more about that. What was the sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like, hmm, I guess you could say. Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. The whole hundred dollars is going to make a joke. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I guess that sound sounded like, uh, I suppose it sounded like someone getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting hit, huh? What then? You want to look out the window and you saw? That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster and- Oh, wait, I already read all this. Kept watching them all of a sudden. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! I got you now! Contradiction! Because you said- You said over here that you heard a huge noise inside the window. Then you took a look outside. And then you saw someone clonk them over the head. Ah, ah, ah! Contradiction! You say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head? Yes, I did! That's the climax of my story! He really does enjoy the complete ra completely random non sequitur. What would you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea! The weapon wasn't found in the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. You did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't! I didn't see a weapon! Ho ho ho! Mo! Did you or did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. A nice penalty. Aha! Uh -huh. That leaves me with one bar. Is this a bit melodramatic? So what will it be then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have any clear basis? I do believe that my witness did not see the crime. Yes, I do! It's in his testimony. I've got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you will be telling us all this great reason? Of course I will. The reason is, the witness's very own testimony. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? Mo said that he third heard the sound of a thump of someone getting hit. Hmm, he did say that. However, Mo just stated the following under oath. I kept watching them and all of a sudden Max clocked the ringmaster over the head! Ho ho! It most to be believed when he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound. There is no way he could have seen Max clonk anyone. Let's send to a clock clown. Oh, I didn't even finish that. Mr. Curls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit. The, these clowns probably, probably escaped from... What the... Mr. Curls, are you reciting the C-Team theme to anger this court? No, 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 I'm just stalling for time while I talk my memory. Great job, Nick. These types of witnesses always seem to have a selective memory. You just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. Well, um... Oh, you're back from your jog? Well, it's pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much? When I looked out of the window of the night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow! The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps in my statement. Ah, Von Karma told you to lie! Von, Von Karma! Tampering with witnesses again. So now you are saying that you did not see the defendant clunk of the ringmaster? Yes! When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out! Checked out? Yup! He was on permanent vacation, as they say! Mr. Carls! Your Honor? You did not witness the actual crime. However, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? Yes, exactly! The Lordmaster was slumped over and I saw someone silhouette next to him. Very well. Then please testify to the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth. And if I even catch a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a holding cell until you learn court etiquette. Got it? Got it. Okay. Yikers, this is just annoying as all heck. It was a bit far away, but that shadow could have only belonged to Max. There's no doubting it. Since since I saw his all many symbols. It's so cut. The blood cloaked. They were all there. Okay, what about the white roses? Wait, wait, wait. What about the white roses? What about the white roses? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we might have him. It took the clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever. This should finally be good enough, yes? It is a size of testimony. Was Max really at the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe that. All right, Mr. Wright. Commence your cross-examination. I think I might have found the hole. I might have found the hole. Okay. So where does he say... Okay. Great. What do we have... Does the post... Oh, is this all I have the poster? 
And Blizzard Max is three favorite symbols. Aha, here we go. Okay. So, where were those white roses? You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols? I suppose so. It's still counting the cloak, right? Mo, everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay, everyone get ready. All together, now. So cat, cloak, white roses. What the? Who cares if he knew that three were, there were three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? Do you like pie? I love pie. Do you, uh? Silence, fool. You are to respond with the whole truth, no fractions. That was a decimal. Order, order. Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses in the process. Ah! Gotcha! Oh, we gotcha! The crime scene was dark. It's obvious that it was too dark to see that kind of detail. But the witness said he was apt able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Then the roses must have fallen off to the when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the scene of the crime. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Clearly not. He is just toying with his court. I got her on the robes now. These seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trilo's testimony? There's no way! There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols! How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? How can you mistake someone wearing such a not snobby three-piece getup? Trilo saw them all, saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims that there were no right roses on the person he saw. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Hmm, now what am I supposed to think? One is, a suppo one is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this- Judge, forget the roses. Think about his other testimony. The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Your Honor, uh, Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, this witness has, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature? I've, I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% I'm certain this witness was a defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable, which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in this next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance! Okay, we can do this. One last cross-examination. Let's go. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the seal cat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. Okay. That does... No, no, no. Wait a second. Just one chance. I'm not allowed even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness. If you are going to prove that to me that's a contradiction with Mr. Curl's statement, you better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your... Jesus, and I've only got one single shot. This has got to be careful. I understand you're on a one chance is all I need. Okay. Well, riddle me this, Batman. Um, if the if he was wearing the silk hat the entire time, why do we? Why was it found at the scene of the crime? Objection! This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, well, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how would one make a single, single thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma. Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The crime scene? That, that means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. Order! 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 Mr. Curls! Yes, Your Honor? What is the meaning of all this? You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Well, because you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight and my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? And no matter how old I get, I'll always be younger than you. Whoa! 
Enough of these travel shoppers, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? The judge has snapped. The glo the kid gloves have come off of the judge. He is he is on a roll today. I saw him. I swear I saw him. It was Max. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing this dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene, he left the scene wearing the dumb silk hat. He was there. He left the scene. What's the matter, Nick? That's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo? What do you- what do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, um, he went- What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that! Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Ms. Von Karma's protest is useless. You've got a point. Let's see what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that alright with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby! Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer is obviously- No, he didn't. Oh no, oh no, are we really going- are we really going this route? Okay. He can't have walked away because there were no footprints. Oh my god, is this game seriously going to try to tell me that he actually flew away? Is he actually- are they actually going- are we- are we really going get- are we really going this route? Please tell me we're not going this route. That's what I expected you'd say. You sure that's how it happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter stories to how the criminal left the scene? The crime photo doesn't have any footprints, right? Yeah, there's no footprints of leaving. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there! Oh! So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he... Your Honor! This witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. Wait just a second! You guys can't just ignore everything I've said? Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time! You wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt! I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways! I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear! I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse before they're gonna get better. Mr. Lawrence Curls. Yes! The testimony you provided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false, I haven't lied, it's just... It's just what? It's just that I was a bit confused a little bit about the criminal leaving the scene, especially since Von Kammer and her whip told me not to talk about whatever they saw! He's back to you in your corner again, Von Karma. Order! Order! I will have order! Francisca Von Karma, how could you? Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have had exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough for you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you saw, Mr. Curls. Oh, you're not gonna believe this, but I'll, it's all true, I'll tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. Please don't tell me they're gonna- Please don't tell me you're gonna say he flew. Please don't tell me you're gonna say he flew. Now it's time for our next segment, MOTOS! Everything I've been set up until now has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and the max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw he- No, don't do it. Oh my god, we're doing this! Oh my god, we're doing this! Okay, I'm done. Nope, that's enough. That's enough of reality for today. Oh my god, what is this game? What madness? What is this? What is this dumbassery? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, alright, okay. Alright, you know what? You know what? This is the truth now, get ready for it! He flew! He just up and flew through the air! He flew right up and disappeared into the darkness! Mm -hmm. Mo, oh my god. Is this game gonna actually try to convince us that Max flew through the air? Please, for the sake of my sanity, tell me that this is all some elaborate funny joke by Mo! And this isn't actually the case. That's why there were no footprints! Blind people don't leave footprints!
Oh my god. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well, that was, uh... How do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of a crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You're, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why would you believe me? This is, this is the best part of the story. Hmm. To be honest, what do you think about this husband's testimony? <laughs> this is all a dream, right? Oh, dear. His eyes were playing tricks. He's telling... Stop going into the court record. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wait, I have to think. Think, 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 think. There's no way, there's no, I, I, I refuse to believe. I refuse to, for as ridiculous as it is that we're even honoring this line of questioning at all, there's no way he's actually telling the truth. So, how can we rationalize this? What logic is there for this to have been the case? Uh, his eyes are playing tricks. See, that's the thing. This is, this is why I asked him how tired he was. Because... He, like, depending on, if, if, like, if he just woke up and his eyes were, like, his eyes were droopy or whatever, he might, he might have just seen, seen things, who knows? His, his eyes may very well have been playing tricks. That being said, it's probably funnier if I say this is all a dream. Right now, I can't believe any of this. I'm not even sure if this today has been, hasn't been some kind of calf cast dream. Now do you still, now do you think it's still a dream? How oh, Mr. Phoenix right? I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile. If you disagree, if you, if you disagree with a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got a feeling this is case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It's an undisputed fact that this criminal left no footprints of the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. Holy hell. Oh, God. December 29th, 2.33 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number 5. Hey, sweeties. What in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. They said the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Okay. So at least the game... Is, so here's the thing. At least the game isn't going to actually try to convince me that whoever was there flew. But the fact that this is even the direction we're taking this case is just... Oh my god. Wow, you just told me the secret to your magic. No, I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule. The only rule. I'm sorry, Max. We made you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope that we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best to catch this sucker. Good God. I don't even have the words. Okay, first of all, the fact that the judge can penalize you for the clown telling a joke is just stupid beyond belief. Second of all, the fact... Uh, we're actually going in this direction. We're actually going this route. We're actually... Oh, good God. Tomorrow's investigation will be interesting. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode, so thanks for watching. See you next time. We'll catch you all tomorrow for some more. Phoenix Ready's Attorney Justice for All. I have... All my energy has been sapped from me from this trial. Yikers. Goodbye. <laughs>